Counterintelligence, starring secret agent Flex Dickman. Oh, Flex, that was so short. Sorry to keep things brisk, baby, but I've got a job to do. How about some more champagne, doll? Like my grandpappy used to say, do whatever you want and let future generations deal with it. Oh, duty calls. Just got a new transmission from HQ. Agent Dickman, we need you to get a recording of Morovi Morovikov selling nukes to President Payne. We get that audio, we can lock Morovikov away for a long time. This message will blow up your phone in three seconds. Wait, since when do messages blow? Damn it. Freaking Samsung. Who is it, Flex? I don't know. Stand back, baby. This could get hairy. Hi, Mr. Dickman. I'm Rod Pringle. Headquarters sent me to- Not today, terrorist. Mr. Dickman, Mr. Dickman. Who are you working for? Talk, wimpy. Uh, I can tell you. If you just let me out of this chokehold. Okay, but don't try anything funny. The only thing I find funny is Jeff Dunham. Um, like I said, my name is Rod Pringle. Headquarters sent me to show you the new gadgets we've been working on in the lab. They thought you could use the help. H.U. thinks I need some nerd to help me out? That's laughable. Like Jeff Dunham laughable. Check this out. Looks like a normal everyday Rolex watch, right? Wrong! It's actually a magnet. So you activate it by pushing the little button on the side here. Ow! Hey, my gold filling. <laughs> See? The watch is magnetized. You can use it to take guns away from bad guys. Pretty cool, huh? Would both of you please... Get out of my hotel room. Hmm. Tell you what, nerd. You buy me a new cell phone, and I'll let you help me out with my mission tonight. Well, headquarters said you didn't really have a choice. Great. Let's go. We've got a party to crash. Okay, nerd. Just try to blend in with these rich, sophisticated types. Follow my lead. Wow, this place is pretty swanky. I uh, haven't been to a party since 2004. There's Morovikov. I've got to get him on record selling the nukes to President Ping. This might get messy. Better give me that cool Rolex. Okay, but be careful. It's fully charged, so... Ah, looks so good on my sweaty, rugged wrist. Wait here. And try not to look so much like a poor person. Well, 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 if it isn't global arms dealer Marovi Marovikov. Duh, and who are you? Name's, uh, Brock Bruckner. I'm interested in buying some merchandise, if you know what I mean. Nukes. Duh, duh. We go outside to talk business. It's quiet, duh. Duh, indeed. Oh, uh, no. How many black market nukes can I put you down for, Mr. Brock Brockner? Or should I say, Agent Flex Dickman? Wow, you had a lot of henchmen hiding in those bushes. Been there since 3 p.m. today. I gave them buckets to pee in. But now it's time I make clean getaway. You've got your own chopper? Man, that's cool. I mean, uh... You don't get away with this, Morovikov. Da da, heard it before. Oh, before I go, maybe you give me magnetic Rolex watch you're wearing, hmm? Oh, come on. That was my exit strategy. Oh, it looks so good on my sweaty Russian wrist. Uh, yeah, don't forget to set it. Little button on the side. Oh, da. Oh! Ooh, watch out for those chopper blades, Morovikov. They can be a little. Dicey. <laughs> hey, Flex, did you know it's an open bar in there? <laughs> Why is Morovikov's body chopped up into little pieces and laying everywhere? Ah, Pringle. Just in time for your first real-world training scenario. Running from henchmen. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, nerd. Get in the Aston Martin. Oh my god, did we just steal someone's car? It was in a valet loop. That's fair game. I don't think that's a law. You know what, nerd? Your stupid magnetic Rolex watch gadget thingy really helped me out back there. Maybe I could use you on a few other missions. Um, sure. Although I've never really worked the field. That's okay, Pringle. With my help, you'll either become the best field agent who ever lived, or you'll die trying. Now how about a little radio to relax? Someday love will find